Hi everyone. So in this video, we're going to be learning about how to uh, access the online database uh, for the State Center Community College District, uh, whether you're a Clovis uh, College student or a Madera Community College student, either or you can both access the library database. So uh, let me go ahead and get started here with the uh, Clovis Community College library database. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in here Clovis Community College library database. And uh, let's go ahead and see what pops up here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the second source so that I show you the step by step process of how to get to the online portals. So I'm going to click on library Clovis Community College. When I click on that link here, I get redirected to the library page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here until I get to the left hand side to links to resources. When I get to links to resources, I'm going to click on articles, research, databases. So I'm going to click on that. And now I have my various portals that I can access to go into online articles or get videos or ebooks. Um, Obviously, I'm not going to be reading an entire textbook or a novel for that matter. I can even search material within the textbook that's going to help me for my sources for my essay. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here and I like to use EBSCOhost. So we have ebooks on EBSCOhost and we have EBSCOhost academic search complete and specialized databases. Um, EBSCOhost uh, ebooks on EBSCOhost, that's a good source as well if you're looking for books uh, like entire books. But for the case of uh, and a final essay, I would recommend uh, utilizing a search that's going to give you an article that is going to be very detailed and uh, to the point of the matter that you're looking for for your final essay. So let me go ahead and click on EBSCOhost Academic Search Complete and Specialized Databases. And I have to log in again because the university wants to know that I'm either a staff member or a student just to make sure that I am within the system. So I'm logging in again. And I'm redirected to the EBSCO host uh, a database. So I can search any keyword that I want for my final essay. Um, let's say that my final essay is going to be on educational policies. And it's gonna be on educational policies that are uh, specific to uh, demographics of races and ethnicities uh, within certain regions. But I wanna be very specific later on, not in the beginning. I wanna at least search a keyword to see where the search portal takes me. So how, why don't I just start with uh, searching education policy. So I'm just going to go ahead and search education policy. So here you can see in the search results, it shows education policy, education policy in the US and the UK studies, analysis, archives in China, analysis, implementation, reform, Australia. Obviously, within our soci sociology textbook, we're focused on educational policies in the United States and how they compare to European countries, as well as, as, well as East Asia. Of course, we learned about Singapore in our textbook as well. Um, so how about I focus on the United States firsthand? I want to know how the education policy in the United States is set up. So I'll go to the second result that says education policy in the United States, and I'm going to click on that. Search. And now I have all the articles that I have access to. So here the first one says an analysis and illustration of US adult and workforce education policy. That sounds interesting. I was more focused on race and ethnicity. So let's see where the search takes me. Uh, this is obviously the process of essay writing. Maybe you get swayed in a different direction based off of the topics that you find in the EBSCO host uh, search engine. So uh, immunization laws and policies among US institutes of higher education. That's interesting. Um, of course, we know about affirmative action. We could start searching on that matter as well. Uh, let's see, economic discussion of conflict between public education policies and common good arts in the US, okay? Well, I saw the second search here had maps as well. Maybe that's gonna be helpful to give my reader a visual of what I am speaking about. Let's go ahead and click on immunization laws and policies among US institutes of higher education. So I see here my title. My source, it's Journal of Law, Medicine, and Ethics. The issue was from summer 2019. I have my year of publication, my volume issue number, and I have my pages. So I have all of this information here. Document type, it's an article. These are all the subject terms that pop up when I search for this article. So I can search any of these terms and it can redirect me to this article. So I can search communicable disease, universities and colleges. This is the criteria that this article is related to. So geographic terms, United States, this is education policy within the United States. Company, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. So great, I have a source that's the CDC. 
Um, so over here I have the abstract and the abstract says the article discusses various aspects of immunization laws and policies involving higher education institutions in the United States as of 2019 that's very recent and it mentions infectious disease outbreak risks involving college students maybe I want to focus on how this might relate to COVID-19 maybe I want to be that you know that very that much specific that's that's totally fine so according to the article, some American states have altered the non-medical exemptions to vaccinate requirements for school-aged children in the wake of vaccine-preventable outbreaks of diseases such as mumps. Okay, interesting. So here I have my images. I'm going to click on this uh, map of the United States. So uh, I have a detailed map here and it's showing me uh, UC systems as well, University of California, Santa Barbara, um, San Diego State University, University of San Diego. So it's showing me the various colleges that they're focusing on and it's showing mumps outbreak and meningitis outbreak here. So it's based on the star or the circle and um, it's showing me all the different states in the United States. And article title again is right over here, immunization laws and policies among US institutes of higher education. The source of, of course went over that, but it's reiterating it right here for this image. Image type, it's a map. How do I cite this image? Let's go ahead and click on this. So it's redirecting me to a new page. And now I have uh, different styles of citations that I can cite this image with. What if I wanted to go to APA? Okay, so I would copy this and I would paste it in my bibli bibliography page. So it's showing me all of the different styles, MLA style. I can copy this and paste it on my bibliography page. So that's a good resource to have. Let me go ahead and X out of this image here. And I want to go to the actual article. Let's see if I have access to this article. Clearly I do because it says PDF full text right there on the left. Let's see what happens when I click on that. Clicking. All right. There we go. Immunization laws and policies among US institutes of higher education. Great, and it's showing me all of the authors here. We've got a lot of authors. Okay, so uh, we can see here, it's got some extra information about the column, Journal of Law and Medicine and Ethics, the map that we looked at, and it's, div it's divided based off of sections. It's almost set up like a magazine article. And we have another graph here that can be helpful. And then we have the sources. It's a fairly short article that you can use if you're focused on education policy, uh, specifically with regards to me uh, medical practices too. So um, let's say I wanted to search within this article. I would press Control F and I would search health. Okay, so I searched the word health. So it shows up right here. It's highlighted the word health. Uh, let me go ahead and see how many times the word health shows up in this article, okay? So it's going through each highlight of the word health. So anytime I want to search a specific word, whether it's within an article or a textbook, I can go ahead and press Command F or Control F. Uh, I would press Command F if I'm on a MacBook and Control F if I'm on another laptop. And then I can go ahead and search a keyword that I want to find within a specific article or reading. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, go back here. And I want to show you guys um, how to cite this source. So uh, let me go ahead and I want to go to the actual page where I found the article here. So this was the page where we found the article. Oh, sorry. Let me go to the page. Okay. And I want to cite this article. I don't, I don't just want to cite an image. I want to cite the entire article. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the tools on the right hand margin here. And I'm gonna to go to cite, this image right here with paper, cite. These are all the different formats of citations. I have APA and I have Harvard and MLA. So if I wanna uh, cite the MLA citation, I'm doing command C for copy, but I can right click and copy as well here and I can paste it right onto my bibliography. Okay, so that's a source for us. What about for, Education specifically related to race and ethnicity. Uh, of course, I mentioned race and ethnicity, so let's go ahead and be a little bit more specific, but we're not gonna confuse the search. We wanna be specific enough to get the article that we want, but we don't wanna confuse the search engine. So we have, to be, we have to be very careful about what we search. So I'm gonna go ahead and definitely keep the word education because that's what my topic is on. 
but I want to know about race in the United States as well. Education, race, inequality. Okay, so it's showing me that option right there. I'm going to click on it. Let's see where I get redirected to. Inequalities in multiple health outcomes by education, sex, and race in 93 U.S. counties. Why we should measure them all. And look at all these images that I have here that I can use, and the PDF full text is available. So let's go ahead and click on that article. And I have here my images. Let me see what one of the images uh, shows us. Okay, so it's showing a table. And the table says, table one, three counties with the smallest and largest sum summary, disparity in total morbidity. Very specific. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and X out of this image and I'm going to see the authors here. So the authors, uh, we have the list of authors here. Okay. And the source is International Journal of Equity in Health. So I have the year of publication, which is 2014, the volume number, issue, the pages that is focused on for this article, and diagrams as well, and the subject terms, along with the document type. So document type, this is an article. Subject terms, I can search any of these terms within my search engine, and I can possibly be redirected to this article. So research, local government. Remember, we're focused on counties. Um, analysis, analysis of variance, birth weight, diseases, health status indicators, all of these uh, topics are within this article. And of course, bolded is race, because remember our search engine, we put in race. Okay, so abstract is here as well. Geographic terms, United States. Now I wanna go to the article and see what it looks like. You know, you don't wanna just choose an article without seeing the way that it's formatted, the way that it's set up, whether or not it looks like a magazine article or a very dense reading. So let's go ahead and click on PDF full text here. And now I see how the article is set up. I have my title of the, uh, of the company right here on the right. It says Biomed Central, the open access publisher. Okay, so that's a publishing agency. On the left, it says International Journal for Equity and Health. That's the name of the journal. Um, then the title of the article, Inequalities in Multiple Health Outcomes by Education, Sex, and Race in 93 U.S. Counties. Why we should measure them all. Okay, and I have the DOI as well. And of course, uh, we met, we were speaking about DOI in our uh, previous uh, lecture slides, but you can go ahead and uh, you can save this uh, as a PDF format. Um, so article URL is also available. Uh, why use a DOI when you could just use the uh, URL for the article for your citations. Um, so moving down here, abstract is right there, methods. So it's very scientific. It's going in a step-by-step -step process. It's saying abstract methods, results. You know, it's very structured. It's not really like a novel or like a dense reading where you're just like trying to follow a storyline. It's very scientific. So um, conclusions as well. It's showing you the conclusions from the very beginning. So you know what the article is about. So keywords, health inequalities, public health, health status, health policy. And then we have our introduction. And let's say you want to search, let's say I want to search a word. So I'm going to click Command F because I'm on a Mac. And I already um, put the word health down here and showing up four out of 206 times. Let me search the word race. 37 times it's gonna show up. So I'm gonna keep going down here. And this is how many times it shows the word race in this article, I can see here. So go ahead and if you wanna search an article, specifically the content within it, you do Control F or Command F to search keywords within the article. Um, if you have any more questions uh, about how to cite your sources, uh, go back to the lecture slides that we just had presented. Um, if you have any other specific questions, uh, go to the Canvas page where I have the MLA and APA citation guides. Any further questions about your essay writing, go ahead and send me an email. And uh, thank you guys.